Hello students, welcome to this session. In this video, let us know about the history of chromotherapy. So, beginning to the history of chromotherapy, let us know what is chromotherapy. So, as the name suggests, chromo means color and therapy is treatment. So, treatment by using different colors is called as chromotherapy. So, chromotherapy is defined as the science which uses different colors to change or maintain the vibrations of the body to that frequency which signifies health, ease and harmony. So, in this video, we will discuss about the history of chromotherapy. So, when we come into introduction, introduction of history of chromotherapy. So, it is the one of the ancient most treatment modality by using colors and it is not only prevalent in India but also in western countries like Greek, Persia, Tibet and China. So the awareness of evolution of man it goes from within to without. Man reaches his powers through the process of meditation and he thinks that the powers are of himself but they are the part of cosmic forces of the universe which he gained through the his living processes so thus the key to health is from within to without and but according to westerns they are mainly on the idea that the theory of psychology and psychoanalysis which is thousands of years of old in india and there is no dichotomy of body mind or spirit so thus they evolved the idea that the chakras they work in the body and they maintain in the body chakras there are these are the different energy centers in the human body there are different seven different chakras in the human body they are corresponding with the different colors so according to the energy deficient in the body the particular color is applied and the chakras will balance the energy which the westerns call it as endocrine glands and nervous system so since 1910 they started developing scientific studies on these endocrine glands and nervous system but which was thousands of years old in india so the indians they also believe the concept of aura so aura are nothing but the electromagnetic field force of the body so the human body it is covered by different uh, layers these are called as healthy aura and ill healthy aura so it is differentiated by the color distribution and the pattern of color distribution by knowing at the distribution of the colors we can make out whether it is healthy aura or ill healthy aura so these are covered by the seven bodies and these seven bodies are represented by seven colors of the spectrum next is the five element theory so the five element of nature they are corresponding with the different colors of the spectrum and they also influence the tridosha theory of the body and their senses they also affect the colors in the body colors in the universe and movements of the planets and also the force which allow the movements of the planets so here we should know, we should note that the movement which which moves the individual also moves the celestial hemisphere so when you come into indian history of color therapy so we can tell that its color it is in both subjective and objective influence so which the westerns disagree so they tell that color is only the subjective influence but color it has got subjective influence that is the individual when the particular color is applied on the body he can recognize the changes in his body that is called as subjective influence and what is objective influence so objective influence is that which the we can different make out by the knowing the parameters or by doing different investigations so color it has got both subjective and as well as objective influence on the human body so that is about the indian history of chromotherapy